first of all you need oil to oil, change the oil and meteor 350 2023 that's my bike uh, it will take 15 w50 okay so this will cost you 26 dollar 97 cents at amazon or walmart and that's all you need uh, for your oil and you need a filter i'll show you filter okay next thing you need is an oil filter and this is how the oil filter looks like i'm gonna show you where they go okay and this is just like uh it should be two dollars because um in india or nepal they will cost you um 200 rupees which is uh, equivalent to dollar uh, two more or less okay so and uh, what else you need uh, you need the tools uh, and the tools are already in the bike okay I'll show you where the tools are uh, give me one second bike key this is the bike key uh, you have to unlock this thing this thing comes off and there is this bag in the bag you can find you can find the tool uh, this is the tool that you need for the oil chains okay uh, once your bike is on double stand you will use this key uh, to open these things right here these two things these two uh, knots right here because uh, that will let all the entire oil drain out of the bike okay so i'm gonna only screw these two nuts okay but before that i want to make sure i have a tray so this is the tray i got it from dollar tree for one dollar one dollar and 25 cents this is the tray okay you use that tray and then let the oil come out of the thing all right Remember, any nut, uh, any nut that you want to unscrew, you have to go anti-clockwise. Anything that you want to screw tight, you have to go clockwise, okay? This remembering anti and clockwise makes your life easier. So, if I want to unscrew this, I want to make sure I have to hold the hand in the mid because... Uh, I don't want the nuts to okay. so that's the anti-clockwise. There you go. Mm -hmm. You can see oil is coming out of the machine. Okay. So we're letting the entire oil floss out of this thing.
Now I'm gonna put this filter, uh, bottom filter. I cleaned it, I wiped it. I put some fresh oil on it, okay? So this is gonna go back to the same place. I usually change this in 5,000 miles. Okay, so this is what I do. It's dirty in the, in the middle but that's okay this is gonna work okay just put it in there and rotate a little bit like a clockwise okay so and this is gonna go here and clockwise done this is done, now all I need to do is uh, put the screws, the nuts back. I'm gonna clean this with paper and my uh, rug. I'm gonna clean this with my rug. And it's ready to go back there. And then after that, we just pour some oil and we're good to go. This is the easiest thing you can do when you have a bike. Now, uh, using this ratchet and 5 mm, I guess this is 5 mm, right? Yeah, using this ratchet and 5 mm socket, uh, you can open this oil, oil, oil filter container, okay? So I usually open them at the same time. so that uh, they don't get bad pressure on one, one, any of the nuts, okay? I, I, I always open them at the same time. Achi? Mm. Go see mommy, I want to go. I think I need a flyer to pull this out. Okay, I'm gonna put back the oil filter. Okay, okay, good to go.
Now I'm gonna put the filter in there, okay? But before that, I'm gonna wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, okay? So this is gonna go, and then I have to turn clockwise so it screws, okay? All right, that's enough. Okay. Take a funnel and pour the oil from from this area, this uh, lead over here. This opens and all right. Oh, this funnel doesn't fit, so I need a smaller one. So I'm gonna get another one, okay? So, yeah, this will work. I'm gonna put it from here and that's all we do. Okay, this funnel goes right there. So you put the fuel, I mean the oil, from this oil funnel. And there is a little indicator right here. This one is minimum, maximum. So just go up to the maximum level, the one on the top. Just don't overfill it, okay? So I'm gonna start putting oil in this uh, funnel. Now we have reached to the uh, max level. If you see this line right here, the upper line, uh, that's the max. You cannot, you, you should never overfill your, um, your vehicle with the uh, engine oil. Uh, that's bad for your vehicle. So we are done. So this oil, now I'm gonna put it in a gallon, a little jar, like I have some other empty gallons that I use for my, my vehicles. Uh, the empty gallons are sitting somewhere over there uh, in my table. So I'm gonna put those, this, this oil in there and then we can throw it we can give it to the auto zone or we can give it to any auto dealership. They will throw it for us. And that is all. So hopefully I was able to help you to know how to change the oil. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm gonna put this lead back, the, the, the cover of my vehicle back. So other than that, everything is good. Good to go, thank you.